guys, welcome back to Patch. Welcome back. And today we're going to be doing a versus video between the Modelo Minus and the Razer Viper Mini. Yeah, so the Modelo Minus is going for $50. And the Viper Mini is going for $40, Ooh, which is shocking. $10 cheaper. Yeah. Razer's actually making cheap products. That's crazy. In price, you know what I'm saying? Not in quality for this. It's a great quality mouse, but it's a very cheap price. Let's see how it stacks up. Exactly. So let's start off with the shape. So as far as the shape goes, it's very similar. They're both like the mini, smaller mice. That's apparently a category now in 2020, you know? Yeah. Uh, but they both feel very similar. One thing that I do notice that is that the Viper Mini feels a little bit higher at the arch. The Model O Minus feels flatter. If you like a rounder shape and you like a mouse shape that fills your hand a little bit more, then obviously go with the Viper Mini. To me, I like a flatter shape. It's just more comfortable for me. That's what I prefer. Oh, what yeah, so I, I actually like the larger arch in here. Really? Uh, it's definitely like the O minus is just lower profile. And I feel like that's that maybe the reason I like this so much is because it's reminiscent of my G Pro Wireless, it, but just in a smaller form factor, you know, uh, and much lighter as well. Yes. So as far as the dimensions go, the Viper Mini is 118 millimeters lengthwise, and then the Model O minus is going to be 120 millimeters lengthwise. As far as the width goes, the Viper Mini is 53.5 millimeters, whereas the O minus is 58. And at the height, so the depth at the arch is going to be 38.3 millimeters on the Viper Mini, and then 36 millimeters on the O minus. Wow, so basically the Viper Mini is smaller in every way besides at the arch, which mm -hmm. is interesting. I don't really notice the length and the width too much. The only thing I really, really notice is the arch. For yeah, me, so. for sure. Uh, as far as the cables go, I mean, I would say they're both very nice, but I, I feel like I like the the, the cable the on the- cord. Yeah, the sanded cord on the O minus a little bit better because it's just, it's thicker. It's like a, it's a little looser. It's a lot, yeah, yeah, like it's a lot thicker, but a lot looser inside the cord, inside this paracord. But so I mean, it, it moves a lot easier. Yeah, but I mean, either way you go, you really won't feel the cord. I mean, it's not going to be a nuisance really at all, unless you have like snagging on stuff, in which case you need a mouse bungee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as the buttons go, the Viper actually kind of killed it, but they're, they're both pretty damn nice. As far as the mouse being tactile, they're both pretty damn tactile. Uh, which which one do you think? Bro, I already I already know. Razer, I mean, I'm going with the Viper Mini by far. With the mouse one and two? Mm-hmm. Really? They, both, they feel very similar to me. No, no, the yeah, Viper Mini is a little bit crispier. But the Modelo is also not that bad. Yeah, I think the mod I mean, the O-minus is great yeah. for clicks, but but the Viper Mini is just, I mean, it's phenomenal. They fixed that all. It's like, crazy. It's great. Yeah, you know? it was a huge improvement from Razer. The, the regular Razer Viper was so trash, I hated that mouse, you know? But anyways, as far as the side buttons go, yeah, the Modelo Minus is a lot mushier, and there's a lot of post-travel and pre-travel. The Viper Mini is actually pretty perfect for me. The right amount of post and pre-travel, and uh, it's, a, it's pretty tactile, it's loud, I like it. Yeah, full of greens for me there. I mean, again, much improved from Razer on their side buttons on the on the Viper Mini. Yes. Uh, can't give them enough praise for that. Mm-hmm. And then the scroll wheel... Mm, they both feel pretty similar. I would say the Razer Viper Mini is a slightly ta more tactile. Yeah, it I mean, just, it just feels like the Modelo minus, like the steps are a little bit longer as well. Yeah, because it, it's still a little bit mushy. Again, this is this is one of the areas where Glorious had improved uh, with their with their scroll wheels. They were super mushy before, but they they've improved uh, and they've still got RGB on the Viper Mini. So you know they've got that the RGB scroll wheel, uh, but the Razer is just so tactile and so precise, and the clicks are nice too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I. I Take the Viper Mini on this one, for sure. Really? Yeah, just by a little bit, just by a little bit. And of course, here on top of the mouse, there's DPI buttons, but the Model O Minus has a indicator, so you know what actual like DPI step you're on. Nothing on the Viper Mini. Yeah, but not a huge deal, to be honest. Yeah. As far as the weight goes, the Viper Mini is coming in at 61 grams, and I believe the Model O Minus was... 58 grams. 58, same 59, yes. It's a little bit lighter, probably because of the holes, but it's not, like, you're not going to notice two grams, right? Yeah, I definitely can't notice. Sure. Yeah. And imagine if they put holes in this. Would it be like a lot lighter than 0.2 grams? I like it. I feel like it's just a huge flex yeah. that they don't put holes in it. Exactly, you know? exactly. So as far as the glides go, uh, they've got they both got 100% pure PTFE skates. And then the Viper Mini's got them on top and bottom. Whereas the O-minus is going to have them uh, two at the top, two at the bottom. And that makes absolutely no difference. They both feel fantastic. 
fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. You, you're not. You're not gonna notice the difference. They're both very, very quick, and they're both around the same thickness, so they should last pretty much the same amount of time. As far as the build quality goes. I'd have to go with the Viper Mini because of the button wobble. I mean, the O minus improved significantly from the regular Model O, but yeah. it, there's still a little bit of button wobble. The Viper Mini has absolutely none, and um, I mean, the O minus is also very, very sturdy in the chassis. There's really no flex or creaking. Same with the Viper. Yeah, Viper, it's it's it just feels like a premium product which is crazy at the $40 price point. Yeah. Like it's insane. And they did such a good job with this mouse. So yeah, a lot of praise there. And as far as the uh, texture goes, the Viber Mini has more of a coarse texture. The Modelo is way more smooth. Neither of these attract any fingerprint marks, but um, if you like the grippier material, the Viber Mini is gonna be better. As far as like looking at it, I, I just like the smoother finish. It just looks cleaner to me. You yeah, know, the, the, sure. the Viper Mini looks a little bit like cheaper, but you know, it, it, in hand, the Viper Mini feels a little better, you know? Yeah, I fully agree. I would, I'd like to see one of these with that sort of more matte finish. Yeah. This is matte, but like more like the, more like the O minus finish. Mm -hmm. uh, just to see what it's like. I don't know if the, how, how the grippiness would be though, because we don't have those rubber side grips. Yeah. Uh, like we did on the original Viper. Yes. Uh, moving on to the RGB, the Viper Mini, has, uh, it's not very nice. I mean, I really like the underglow on the bottom of the mouse, but yeah. your hand covers it up. So, I mean, like like the logo here, your hand covers it up, so there's really no point in having RGB there. I mean, on the model low minus, you can always notice the RGB. It's on the scroll wheel and on the sides yeah. of the mouse. So I'm gonna have to go with the model low minus with the better RGB. Yeah, man, they, they came close with that underglow. If only they did it just on the sides instead of just at the back. Like the skull? Uh, like the skull, it would have been it would have been perfect. Exactly. But obviously, my has the uh, has the hand up there. Or just like go around the entire mouse. I don't care if it adds two grams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So as far as the sensors go, your O- is using your 3360. So same as, same as usual from, uh, from Glorious, business as usual. The Viper Mini is using their true 8500 DPI optical sensor. It just feels like a regular sensor. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, honestly, the sensors, I mean, they feel pretty much the same between both of these. Uh, they feel like a gaming mouse sensor, uh, good as any. Can't can't uh, can't make any complaints here from from either of them. I'd say they're they're tied uh, as far as that goes. As far as the software goes, you've got Razer Synapse uh, with Razer, and then Glorious has their software. So I mean, it's really not a uh, a huge deal breaker. You can use them both without software. Uh, in fact, right now I don't have the software for either of them installed. I can switch everything I need to from the mouse itself, which is nice. So. Uh Wrapping things up, which one do you like better? Oh, dude. As you guys can tell wow. throughout the entire video of what I've been saying, without a doubt, the Viper Mini, and for 10 bucks less, too? Wow. And I love this mouse. It's phenomenal. I, I don't think I've had a mouse, really, that stood out to me as, like, a mouse that I bought, and I really, really was excited to, like, just have it, you know? Like, every every sort of mouse that I buy at this point, I'm like, I'm like oh, yeah. Another mouse, you know, it's another light mouse with holes in it or whatever, but this is like, this is something else, you know? Wow. Something special. Wow. I would also have to say I like the Razer Viper Mini a little bit better. Like the buttons are a little bit better, uh, build quality is better. The shape isn't like necessarily better. I like the, the flatter Model O minus, but that's not a huge deal. It's it, like, I don't notice it. It's not like a deal breaker for me. So yeah, I would have to go with the Viper Mini and it's $10 cheaper. So, you know? Easy choice. Exactly. That makes it easy for you. So again, if you guys want to get either of these mice, we'll leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next one. See you in the next one.